What's going on YouTube? Gonna look at big car today. Truck. I got this uh, a while ago, but uh, finally took it out, started looking at it, try to think about what we we'll want to talk about. It's a pretty, pretty big in terms of the die cast community for people that like trucks. This is a 118 scale square body we're gonna take a look at. Pretty neat. It's got a lot of cool things going on with it couple of uh, flaws. I think it'd be able to be repaired though, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. 1983 GMC Sierra Classic, which is the high trim level. Take a look at this bad boy. Pretty neat. Ivory with the, with the browns. It's kind of a funny thing to do. They did the 81 in silver and purple. And they did the 83. I bid on this online. They were kind of going for big prices still. And a couple of people will put them up for auction. I got it for a great price. So, you know, I put my ceiling on what I'd want to pay for one and admit it. So, I felt like I got a good deal on it. And I wanted to check one out. I didn't want to go all the way in and get a couple of them like I did with my Monaco cars. <laughs> But I'm um, glad I have it. Now, ride height's kind of very typical green light, actually, you know. So this back is sagging. And we got the front sort of up. So that's going to get corrected. But I wanted to, and it took me a lot of willpower not to get into the truck as soon as I took it out of the package. <laughs> but it's full opening. So tailgate opens, hood opens, doors open, wheels steer got a full engine in it so we'll take a look at this i'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around first and then we'll get into the issues with it for the most part it's pretty well done i'd say that the body panels are great wheels and tires are the right size they might not be exactly the stiffest but that's how you go with when you have that steering. I think they did great with the mirrors. I think that looks very good. So high Sierra truck would have been the higher trim level. If you look at the brochure for 83. This is supposed to be, I guess, a four wheel drive. And we'll look at the underside. Um, from the pictures from these trucks, not many survive, especially for 83. And I looked at the pace car. It was a Buick Riviera. <laughs> it was the pace car. It was a twin turbos. They use a 3.8 instead of the single turbo. They made two um, specialty vehicle. One was the actual pace car that needed the horsepower. And the other one was another one, I guess. Convertible, twin turbo, six cylinder, Buick Riviera. Then they had like white festival cars, 50 of those for people to drive around. And then they had the replica pace cars, about 500 Buicks of those. Those are kind of like a brownish tan. And they had these uh, specialty real wire wheels that had the lug pattern, so it wasn't a hubcap. This had the factory rallies that General Motors had on these trucks. Also, Greenlight did separate trim. Now, High Sierra trucks would get the full bright treatment. They'd have uh, this. They'd have the wheel molding. They'd have the trim around the, the back of the cab. They'd have this, chrome, chrome. All over the place. Also, wide side bodies, not step side, have this piece too. So that was all heavy duty GMC. Look at the bumper. Molding is nice. You got to pull up on the bed. Take a look. They put the tab here so it's not flapping down like the Ford. Although the Ford bed operates decently. But this is a full feature car. They do have the issue where it will not go all the way down. I don't want to get into that until I take the car apart and see what the issue is. It might not be able to be solved. I think what's happening is, I mean, I've just seen it, this piece of trim is big and it's hitting the bumper. So probably the only way to do that is to lower the bumper. And there was a gap on the real truck. You don't see it really on this model, but a lot of times you see it drop down from this bumper. So a lot of times it went so snug up there. Might have to fix that. Separate tail lights, of course. We got the reverse lamps in the bottom. Dual exhaust truck. 
hangs differently. Um, does have hollow mm -hmm. tips. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that. So, kind of cool. A little bit of sloppy paint work, but they're using tritone. Base coats the white, and then they'll do this brownish orange, and then that. Um, when you read the literature, why they picked this kind of subdued tone, well, Buick was running, but I guess they were trying to say the 1930s had colors like this, so they painted the trucks that way. Greenlight does do the crisp grasp graphics. Let's take a look here. Chrome and, and the flashing on, on the, um, the molding. All the separate pieces are there like the real truck. So it's nice, but, you know, the edges have flashing on them and stuff. And the black isn't completely filled in areas. So I'll probably go around and kind of clean that up, make it look better. A lot of flashing here. Um, chrome sticker. So that's kind of cool. Sierra Classic 1500. Now, again, this is supposed to be, I thought, a C. 1500 but the chassis on this is a k 1500 uh k series get a five liter or three or a 355 5.7 horsepower is under 200 horsepower but the torque was over 200 about 240 on the five liter and 275 foot pounds on the 5.7 so there's your difference horsepower is almost identical so Really great opening hood, and the detail on there is very good, actually. Um, regular retail on these, you'll see them for about $70 to $100 United States currency, and you know they may go up or down. I think there's a lot of these made, so right now, there is inventory in a lot of different dealers, and uh, they're going for probably at or under the median of those two numbers right now we like to hope this is the 350 now the high sierra or sierra classic excuse me would have a lot of equipment this one looks like it has air conditioning you can see right there and then we got four barrel carb battery power brake booster there's your exhaust manifolds all these are very soft Extremely soft, so they're kind of fun to play with. You got your distributor back there, and they ditched the points by then in the 70s, so by the 80s they had the HEI, so electronic spark. Pretty reliable setup. Um, Four-speed on the, on the K-Series. So you can get a four-speed manual and four-speed overdrive, and also four-speed automatic. So this truck looks like it's the automatic with the shifting transfer case. Hinges on this are awesome. I love this. So they have the stamping on the hood. And it closes good. And the other thing, too, they spent the time painting the radiator and the core support all here. And it's all nice and gloss. So pretty cool. Um, tell me, is that washer bottle and this is the coolant or... <laughs> I can't remember. Someone comment below and make make sure they're in the right place too. Let's see what kind of battery it is. Sometimes it'll be. Does it say Delco? Yep, that's kind of cool. We got our Delco Freedom. Let's see if we can get closer. It's hard to keep this thing steady. Well, it'll probably show up better on the screen anyway. And what I can see in my small viewfinder. We're going to pop it on over on itself so we can look at the underbelly in a second. But it does have separate seat belts and green light with their full feature 118 scale cars. They're non artisan stuff. Um, usually has seat belts and soft material. Now, this is very shiny. Really, quite the color in there. It's not very accurate in terms of the tone. I'm trying to find more pictures of this to paint, get in there and paint it. This, this will get a whole. Um, refresh just like some of the other ones I only have one of these so I'm gonna make it good there's your um, cab trim that's supposed to say GMC let's see it's kind of hard to capture on there let's see if we can get in further 
Yeah, very faint, huh? <laughs> well, again, square body, you'd have a lot of toys. So when then these cars came into existence in the 70s, you had a lot of pressed steel toys that would be these trucks and that kind of thing. But never really a full featured 118 scale model like Greenlight's done. The cab, the body on the truck, and pretty much the chassis. The chassis can be fixed. We'll look at that. Um, one more view on the top here. Just want to show you the bed. Pretty good. Pretty accurate looking. These would have been double wall beds by this point. So if you dent this, it won't show out here. Basically. And nice action on the tailgate. It's just that it doesn't... It hits the bumper. So we'll have to fix that. See your access here to get into your... Um, handle sliding rear window automatic tranny let's look at the steering wheel too you got GM's two spoke steering wheel you got your transfer case shifter lever on the bottom then you got your comm shift auto there's our gauges that was pretty good it's just the, <laughs> the color is really bad it's not right door cards look great look at these so that all can be updated. You could get power door locks, you could get cruise control, you could get uh, uh, power window. So that in addition to air conditioning, all that. All right, so we look at this. Let's see real quick. I'll let you see this real fast. And then you got your Sierra, uh, Sierra Classic call out on the grill or the dash. That's neat. Gotta be in many of these trucks, so it's cool to see it like that. I'm sure you all have two. We got one gas door here. Let's see if there's one on this side. Yep, so I guess as we're trying to do the dual tanks setup, here's your other exhaust. So that hangs a little bit more accurately. So it's a little mismatch down there. Let's take a look. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna see what we get. All right. That's not the reason I have the paper on the bottom there. So, as you can see, we have our axle and our leaf spring. So that would have been how they did it. Here's our serial number. Dual exhaust truck, no emissions, there's no cats. We have the asymmetrical shock absorbers. Molded in rear tire. This would have had the old swing out spare. So this would have, you would have cranked this down, would have swung the tire. A lot of times it get rusted, so this needs to come up. This back is a solid axle, which if it was independent, I'd rather have the sloppy setup because when you turn the truck, um, you know, this is locked. It's like having a locked axle, so it doesn't like turning, basically. <laughs> like a welded spider gear, whatever you want us to do. So... You know, you would have seen the heavy-duty chassis a lot more on the real truck, so they made this floor pan kind of, and I guess these are dual tanks, I'd say. But, uh, you know, all this. This is sitting kind of funny, too. So when I looked at this, I was like, what's going on with this thing? So we have the axle tube here, but we have the kingpin and the spindle here. So you can see that's not... <laughs> so this really should be over here. So they kind of did that just to make it so it was a cheaper, easier way to make this setup kind of go. But it's a full independent 350 motor in there with an automatic transmission with the transfer case and a separate um, drive line here. We usually had it, I think they had used new process transfer cases by then. And your oil filter and your header or your manifolds and your starter and all that, oil pan. Got bell housing. So all that's in there. You got your lower belts. Oh, they also used, and we'll look at down on top, the, the two belt, which was common. So that's kind of cool. They used the two belts. Separate license plate bracket. You got your dual hump cross member. So some of the stuff's neat. Basically, we well, guess I can leave this alone because, you know, it would take a ton of work to kind of recorrect through all that. But uh, this has to come up. So... Basically, the plan is we'll get the car apart and we'll push these out from the back. Uh, it looks like they're just glued in and 
these shocks should give way pretty easily as well. And we'll just put some blocks under here like a real vehicle is. And we'll raise this there back axle because right now there's no load in the truck. So someone broke the leaf springs, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's flip it back. So we'll take a look at the box real quick just so you can see. And we'll have the description below about um, what it is. But it's basically this. 67th running of the Indy 500. And we got our period photo, just like our 164 scale vehicles. Look at this. Look at that. Tom. Now I'm not going to say that last part. Someone put it below for me. So, cars are running pretty cool back then. I think they were turbos. I'm thinking that's what I'm seeing back there. There he is. Yep. Didn't have the milk out yet. So. And then, all the licensing, part of the cost, uh, there you go, and there's your code. Social media, yes, that is true, if you follow them on there for updates, usually they'll, they will put out the pictures of the stuff coming in, so glad to get this now they have a true four-wheel drive plain white one that seems the one that commands the most money i'm gonna leave the truck with the graphics and everything i'm just gonna correct everything like the color of the interior and then the ride height and we'll get a hold of that we'll get a grip on all that and the car will look pretty good so there she is and just an update on the caprice we put some pictures up on instagram but uh we'll take a little bit of a, a gander real quick um just tell you what I did. So I just really added the spots. And I guess Chicago was using two. Because uh, they did have usually run in pairs. And we used our well and edge light bar. So this one came in the mail and it was clear. And uh, I had to split it uh, and, and widen it. It was two narrow for the size of the caprice the scale is good i think it looks pretty good i lowered it made sure the profile is correct put the american flag in like they were running not all the pictures showed them but a lot of them would use it i have not figured out how to do the precinct number yet so i'm not going to put one up or the division or whatever it's supposed to be so we'll wait on that i want to assign this car to a specific area in the city so We'll wait on that. It's pretty easy just to drop a tag on the top. But there it is. And I used that Tamiya that, uh, uh, clear paint, and it worked pretty decent. I put a uh, foil strip on top. They were metal. And uh, that's pretty much where they were mounted, kind of forward of the B pillar. There you go. What do you think? Love this car. It's pretty cool. While we're waiting for Greenlight to do their box Caprice that it's still showing first of the quarter of 2022. They're supposed to have 118 scale versions of their own box Caprice. Hopefully they just buy the tool off MCG and, <laughs> and um, put opening doors on it or something. I'll just take a bunch of these at $60 instead of 90 or whatever this was. Probably wouldn't have been better. All right. Well, a couple of General Motors today. Although we like General Motors in the MIGS area. Uh... Oh, the other thing I was going to say, besides that, um, this grill was on uh, Sierra Classic, where these were both uh, lights uh, on Sierra and the lower trends. This bottom part would have been the signal area. Well, this truck does have a signal buried in the grill. Hmm. I don't know if I can capture it here, but it's there. The other thing is they painted that silver. It's supposed to be black, it looks like, for 83. So the grill's correct. I just have to paint it black. You can see how pretty it is. It actually did a good job. This also is extra in the, in the catalog, the bumper guards. All right, no blabbing. Get you one, get you one uh, before uh, they all sell out. If you like these kind of vehicles, uh, it does have all the features and they all move and everything, but uh, it's still a pretty simple one and you can take it apart pretty easily if you want to do something to it. So. Highly recommend it. Well, more to come. More to come. This will be added to the 118th scale playlist if you like these scale cars.
peruse yourself over there. Thanks for all the new subscriptions and all the comments and likes. I do appreciate it. More to come. Till next time.